We're going to look at a couple of quick examples of polarity in the markets, former support turning into resistance and vice versa. The first example is the Russell 2000 exchange traded fund IWM, and this is in 2015. You can see key, key support right around this 120 level in the first quarter, support coming in once again in May, then once again in the middle of July until it finally breaks. So let's go over this again. There was support near this 120 level because there were more buyers than sellers. There was more demand than supply. Now, as usual, the more times that a level is tested, the higher the likelihood that it's going to break because anybody willing to buy at those levels, eventually they will have already done so and there just aren't any buyers left. So the supply overwhelms that demand and prices break down. So now that support is broken, we know that the sellers are in control there. This isn't JC's opinion, this is fact. The sellers are now in control near that 120 level. So fast forward several months later, when we kicked back to that former support, and then of course it turns into resistance, and the Russell 2000 got smoked going into the end of 2015, early 2016. But if you would have recognized that former support, you would have been fading the Russell 2000 into that resistance, not trying to buy into it. You would have benefited from this decline, not suffered from it.